Whether we travel by plane, train, or automobile, we often find ourselves in confined spaces. This yoga routine is going to help us to keep our circulation flowing and to reduce or eliminate back pain that happens when we travel. So let's get started. We're gonna start with ankle and wrist rotations. A lot of times we find inflammation in these areas. So we are going to rotate this until we feel a burning sensation. And as we do this, we're just gonna breathe nice, long, deep breaths for as, much as, for as long as we can and nice relaxed breath. As soon as you feel the burning sensation, then we're gonna rotate the other direction, okay? This routine, I'm gonna take you through a very abbreviated version, and while you're doing this routine, go ahead and take as much time as you need to in order to do what your body needs to have done, okay, while, while you're traveling. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do this, this helps to create space in your spine and relieve that pain in our spine. It's called crescent pose. So we're gonna reach up nice and tall back, nice and tall and reach those arms up. And we're going to turn ahead to the left, looking into the bicep. And we're going to reach to the right, which will help to create some space in the left side as we're reaching right. And if we reach, we can kind of pull, use our right arm to pull the left and come back to center. You can do this for three to five breaths, each and every one, and then exhale, turn your head to the right, and reach to the left, and breathe here, feeling that stretch, feeling the elongation of the spine in that process, and inhale back up to center. And then we're going to lean forward, keeping our, our butt towards the back of the chair, lean our chest forward, and arch our back for a back bend, reaching up and back. If your head touches the back of the chair, take advantage of that, rest in your head, but then be able to reach your arms back even further to feel that back stretch. Very important stretch on the inhale, come out of that and lean forward into a forward bend. This is a counter pose and this will help to alleviate any tension that was created when you did the back stretch. And you're going to bring your head all the way down. Let it hang like a rag doll. And if you are in first class, you can probably do a full forward bend. As you come back up, tuck the pelvis and come up one vertebrae at a time in that process, okay? The next one is Eagle Pose, and we're gonna take like a square knot, right leg over the left, and you're gonna squeeze those legs together, and then the arms come out and left over right, stacking the elbows, and then bring the palms back together. If you can't do that, if that's tough, then just go ahead and give yourself a huge bear hug bearing down on the, on the arms. You want to squeeze your arms together, okay? So again, for three to five breaths. And on the last breath, we exhale, big deep exhale, and we lower down, bringing our elbows in to our abdomen, and then inhale and release, okay? And we do that on the other side, left over right, right over left. And for the, your three breaths to five breaths, again on the last breath, we squeeze down. And for one to two breaths, and come back up. See? And release. So the next pose, we want to create space in our hips. This will help to eliminate or reduce pain in the lower back by opening up our hips. So if you have people on the side, you say, excuse me, and lift that up. And if this is all the further that you can get your foot up, that's fine. If you can, bring the foot all the way into the hip joint. That's, that uh, it works as well. That is a full half lotus. 
and then we're going to take our forearms and push down on our foot and we're going to push down on our knee all creating space on our hips watch for knee pain we don't want knee pain if there's tension in the knee that's okay the tension will actually uh, force the production of synovial fluid which helps to lubricate your joints which that is a good thing we want that to happen and after your three to five breaths we're going to switch so excuse me you can do this after I'm done and same thing on the other side and back up so after that we're going to stretch our head a little bit and so we're just going to take the ear left ear to the left shoulder take the left arm over the head and then just gently push it down a little bit further and back up after again three to five breaths and go ahead right ear to right shoulder right arm over to the left and slightly push it down and up the next two poses are um, great they create a flow it's called a cow cat flow and with this one on an inhale we're going to open our chest and bring it up towards the ceiling as we lift our chin up that will cause our back to arch and our butt to go towards the back of the chair okay so all this is done on an inhale and on the exhale, we want our pelvis to come forward and our chin to come down, looking for our belly button as we're pushing our abdomen into uh, towards our spine. So that's all on an exhale, okay? And so it's gonna be a flow. So we're gonna start with cow, inhaling and chest forward, chin up. Exhale, pelvis forward, chin down and belly to spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And that is that cow-cat flow. That exercise alone, if you have a lot of tension in your back, you can just go ahead and do that, and that will help to relieve the tension. Um, the next pose, which is wonderful, and it will work on putting some pressure on our ascending and descending colon, uh, which helps with elimination because a lot of times we get constipated when we travel, so we want to do some twists. So go ahead and take advantage of the armrest that you have, and we're going to grab the armrest. We're going to have a nice straight back, and then we're going to exhale, pushing everything out, and then twisting to the right, turning your head as far right as you can and breathing here on the inhale come back to the center and we're going to do the same for the other side this is a great neck stretch so get that head twisted grabbing the left armrest exhaling everything out we want to get that twisted and exhale and look as far left as you can with your head and inhale and come back Whew. that is the routine go ahead and use that routine on your travels to make your travels very pleasant it again it helps to improve our circulation system our eliminative system to uh, reduce inflammation, reduce pain, which uh, tends to happen when we travel in confined spaces. And um, take your time doing it. Again, you can hold these poses for three to five breaths, even 10 breaths if you want, nice, long, relaxed breaths, and just enjoy the routine. Mm -hmm.